I'm Mary Hartnett with Siouxland Public Media News. A report from the Iowa Association of Realtors shows the number of homes listed for sale dropped by more than 11 percent in January compared to a year ago. But the association president, Krista Clark, says listings were up compared to December. Rising interest rates helped slow things down in the housing market, but they appear to have leveled out. Clark says December was a pretty slow month as far as pending sales. And in January, that trend kind of turned around a bit with people back out looking and ready to make a move. Many Republicans in the Iowa Senate have passed a bill to provide new liability protection for the trucking industry. The shield would also extend to lawsuits over wrecks involving other commercial vehicles like delivery trucks, cranes, utility vehicles, and farm tractors. Non-economic pain and suffering damages in lawsuits over accidents would be limited to $2 million, while payments to cover medical expenses, economic losses, and punitive damages would remain unlimited. A new study shows the three state universities in Iowa add nearly $15 billion to the state economy. The study from labor market analytics firm Lightcast shows the contributions from the University of Iowa, Iowa State University, and the University of Northern Iowa were equal to approximately 7.1% of the total gross state product of the state. The study shows university activity supports 198,000 jobs in the state, which is one out of every 10 jobs in Iowa and returns nearly $3 for every taxpayer dollar spent. And a bill that would have created a Center for American Exceptionalism at Black Hills State University failed to get a two-thirds majority vote last night in the South Dakota House of Representatives. The curriculum the center creates would explain why America rose to greatness and how to keep it that way and teach students to balance critical thinking with love of country and also include South Dakota history with an American Indian tribes component focusing on the history of the indigenous peoples of South Dakota. Opponents of the bill included four education lobbyists who largely argued that the bill was unnecessary and a representative from the Bureau of Finance and Management who said the bill did not account for ongoing funding needs. That's Siouxland Public Media News. I'm Mary Hartnett.